President Biden is sending 1,500 active duty troops to the southern border as a pandemic era policy restricting immigration comes to an end. Chief White House correspondent Mary Bruce is in Washington with the details. And Mary, there's also a new deal with Mexico announced overnight. George, good morning. The White House is breaking for this sharp spike in migration to the U.S.-Mexican border and bracing for the political firestorm that is likely to come with this. And they are trying to show that they are getting ahead of this, sending those 1,500 U.S. troops to the southern border. Now, officials here stress they will not be performing law enforcement functions. They are there simply to assist and perform what's being described as administrative duties. This is just one of several steps the White House is announcing as they prepare for the end of Title 42 next week. That, of course, is the public health policy that was used to quickly expel migrants during the pandemic. And overnight, the administration announcing this deal for Mexico to continue accepting migrants from Venezuela, Haiti, Cuba, and Nicaragua who are expelled from the border. Now, the president and this White House know this surge is coming. They know that they are likely going to face political attacks over this. And the bottom line, George, is they are trying to show that they are taking this seriously. Mary Bruce, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.